Hello and welcome to my Williams Road to Glory career mode here today for part 28 for the Monaco Grand Prix for the second round of this season. We're in for a good race in Monaco. There's some rain on the way. Here is the grid. Race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, edging out Sergio Perez who lines up P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Verstappen, Latifi, Lando Norris and Gasly, Stroll, Sainz, Ricardo and Charles Leclerc, Russell, Brown, Yuki Tsunoda and Fettel, Ocon, Lundgaard, Antonio Giovinazzi and Nikita Mazepin, Joe and Mick Schumacher. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So we're starting 12th alongside George. As you can see, there is rain predicted for about halfway through the race. So we're going to start on the mediums and we're going to see if we can drag them all the way to the rain and hopefully we can get a good result as the lights go out. And it's a good start by the Mercedes up top. I think it was Factory Bottas, the two Williams side by side. If we've actually gone backwards, we haven't really gained anything. We've actually lost out to our teammate, George Russell. As we head up the hill, round the casino, and now towards Mirabeau, where, wait for it, we're going to send it down the inside, we've got George, we've nearly got Charles Leclerc, can he finish his own Grand Prix for once, as we send it down into the Lone's hairpin, one of the best camera angles of the season, in my opinion, 348, and from B12, We've got up to P8. Now we're right behind the two McLarens. And have we got the pace to catch them? We start to close in on Daniel Ricciardo. We've got away from those behind. And um, away from Lance Stroll. And we're all over the back of Daniel Ricciardo. Just couldn't find a way through. You can see us now on lap 11. This is the closest I got to the, to the Aussie men through the Nova, no Belcher again. We've got a good exit. We've done my move that I used to do all the time back on F1 2019. Down the inside, into the back. And we've got past Daniel Ricciardo to take P7. And you can see there that the clouds are starting to come over. A bit like the real life Grand Prix as Daniel Ricciardo pits. I'm not sure whether there was contact or he was just pitting. But you can see here on lap 15, the rain has arrived and we have played a thousand IQ strategy here. The tyres still felt good. Can we get these eight another extra couple of laps out of them and go straight to Inters? Because as you can see, we are currently leading the Grand Prix and those starting on the softs have actually made their stop to go on to, go on to the mediums to, for them to go to the end. And we don't need to do that. As the rain comes down, and it very quickly will be into conditions. Look at it, and on lap 18, it is into conditions. So we will now be in the net lead of the Grand Prix. We have played this beautifully. We were patient. All we had to do was stay in touch from with those at the front, which we just about did. Yes, we stared at the McLaren most of the race, but. Here they come, the lead is all into the pitch, Yuki's led by Yuki Tsunoda, which God knows what, how he's managed that, but fair play to the Japanese driver. As you can see the spray now, how have they kept out the barriers? I mean, one goes hard enough at the best of times, that knows when it's wet. But, in a second as he's trundle out of the pit lane. Where are we? We're waiting for the blue and white car, there we are. We are going to round the, f the first corner ahead of Yuki Tsunoda which puts us in the lead of the Grand Prix once Verstappen, Gasly and Latifi have made their stops onto the Inters because they had to stay out because of their teammates and skipping now onto lap 34 we're still leading the Grand Prix we've got a big change but train behind us because we tapped our front wing with a little bit of damage and we were really struggling 
So we've got a Monaco train, bit like Alonso. In real life, as Yuki Tsunoda had a big moment there on the exit of Portier. And lucky enough, that did relieve some pressure as, as Perez had a look at Valtteri Bottas. Well, Yuki Tsunoda, we went a little bit wide. That's not my fault. Yuki understood into my tyre. In real life, there was a bit of action there, qualifying with Perez and Carlos Sainz. And here is what it looked like from Valtteri Bottas' point of view. You can see he did very well to keep out the barriers, Yuki. But it's not my fault. He just understood into me. I've made a little mistake. He's understood. And this was Perez having his little go at the finish driver. But now on to lap 39, the final lap of the Grand Prix. Bottas is going to send it into the ninth belt again. We defend to the outside. And as we have a big tank slapper, Bottas is now going to have a go into the back. But we're going to enter to back ahead. And there's very, very doubtly going to be another place for Bottas to get us. So through this woman ball chicane and now towards the final two corners. As long as we can keep it out to the final barrier, we are going to round the final corner. It's the one they all want to win, and we've done it. We win the Monaco Grand Prix. Hey, Jeff, thanks for your work this weekend. Well done, mate. Team effort. Thanks to all the boys. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, they clearly have a car that comes alive in the kind of conditions we were dealing with. Oh, here they are now. I always love seeing the independent teams do well. Williams have a long and storied history with F1, and I'm delighted to see them on the top step of the podium. We've won the Monaco Grand Prix. What a result. We've always been quite our Monaco and very, uh, very hard, hard one as well. I don't want to make these videos boring so I do use flashbacks and you have no idea the amount of times I heard Jeff say a new strategy is available on the MFD. If I had a pound for every time I heard that, that race, I'd be an absolute millionaire. You can see the standings, that win has taken up to 4th and we've moved up in the Constructors Championship as well. But, I mean these Monaco videos are always quite short, but if you have enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want more. We're doing one final season potentially before F1 2022 comes out. Goodbye.